What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Q the Content Guy, and I am back for a brand new episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 12, episode 16, Attitude Adjustment, or Altitude Adjustment, whatever the hell it's called. Um, I don't even really know where to start, so we just going... First of all, let's start with all the drama that's been going on outside of the show with the disgusting things that the that this person has paid for or not has paid for these bots that have attacked Garcelle's son. Now Diana's out here playing victim. Like, you know, it's, it's disgusting. This is, you know, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You are attacking a 14 year old child. That has that's not a part of the show. His mom is a part of the show. If you want to attack somebody, attack his mom. Don't attack somebody else. And then Erica jumping in, you know, talking about nobody stuck up for her son. That's a grown ass fucking man. Um, Diana lit liquor, alleged sex trafficker, and alleged madam is talking about, um, you know, all the things you, you know she she's not involved because she wrote a book up and then she take I, I can't even get it out that's how like it's sad he's a child leave him alone he can't defend himself the way that he needs to leave him alone he's a child and andy cohen you need to fire diana in my opinion she don't even need to be at the reunion you need to fire her she's the Disgusting. She is disgusting. She has no coof about. It. She's disgusting. Let's gonna get into this show because we're gonna light her ass up at the end of this show. So the show opens up with Kyle and Dorito in the car talking about Rena and her extreme reactions and how she's not dealing with the real problem and she's only being mean to Sudden. Of course, they're saying this all in the car. They're not gonna say it to Rena. Um, you know, in Dorito's confessional, she's like, um, uh, excuse me, in Kyle's confessional, she's like, you know, I don't think people should, should, uh, they, people should reserve judgment on Renna. Girl, shut the fuck up. Kyle, shut up. Renna was being nasty, and she was being, her actions were uncalled for the way she was treating Sudden when them fake tears were rolling down her eyes. I didn't see any tears. Lisa can go too. I'm about sick of Lisa looking like a trash the way she's dressing. The loose ass sweatsuits and things like that. Go get a piece of bread like Kim Richards said. Where Kim Richards at? Now that's somebody that'll get Lisa ass right on together. You remember when she got her together at that dinner table? Anyway, over at Garcelle House, Lizard Lip shows up because you know she wants to get to know Garcelle better. Um, and she drunk, talking about her outfit on the wrong way, and she mumbling, girl. Anyway, um, she says she, you know, she wants to get her own hotel room because she wants to do ghost buses. I don't know what she said, child. Give a fuck about her. Um. She wants to clean out the bad energy and the bad spirits. I'm like, girl, they must didn't show up at the end. Um, Garcelle's just sitting there. Garcelle, if I was you, I wouldn't let her back. She would have came to my house. We just gonna sit outside and talk because you're bringing bad energy into my house. You're bringing madam energy into my house. You're bringing lit liquors into my house. I'm good on you. Over at Lisa's house, she's opened up a box um, of stuff from mom from, from her mom. Um, her and Harry are going through it. She's talking about her mom was a role model to her. This, uh, you know, she had class. She um, she was gracious with people, and she also shares this. Her, she saw the book that her mom was a part of years ago, like years, 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 years ago. Her mom was like pretty much captured by a guy, so they got put inside of a book. Um. And Lisa doesn't understand where her anger comes from. She's been very angry since her mom passed. So, you know. 
Back at Kyle's house, she's playing golf with Mauricio, and they're pretty much trying to plan the abs- a- absent absent trip. Did I say that right? Whatever. Making sure that everything is right. Ooh, child, got me so tongue twisted. I can't even get my words out. Aspen trip. Just making sure everything is all right. She um shares that Dorit is going to stay at a different house, and she doesn't know how she feels about that because you know the whole alleged burglary situation. So. Over at Doritos' house, she's talking to PK um, about going to Aspen, and she'll be staying with Garcelle, Sutton, Crystal, and Cherie. And um, because Kyle doesn't have enough room, honey, but low key, she wasn't too happy about it. You can see it on her face because at least at Kyle's house is going to be Kyle, Lisa, Erica, and um, Kathy. She wasn't happy though. I don't know if y'all caught those T's or not. But Dorit wasn't happy. She got pushed out the Fox 5. Oh. Um, and then she starts to, I guess the producers had to remind her that she was part of a burglary. So she brings up that and she's saying she's getting better and, you know, the feelings just had to come out. And I'm like, okay, back to this story again. Okay. All right, girl. Um, Sheree and Garcella are on FaceTime with each other, and they're and Garcella's pretty much talking about how pissed off she was at Erica and um, from the 70s party. And she says she's done with Erica, she doesn't want to talk to her, honey. Erica could be on fire, and I wouldn't throw water on her. <laughs> I know that's right. Sheree said, You least spit on her, I wouldn't even waste my time. Garcella and Crystal are on FaceTime and they're talking about the TMZ article that came out about the $750,000 diamonds that Erica's walking around with or wearing. Crystal shares that that's a lot of money. That's money that actually could help the victims out. See, here's my thing. Well, I think Crystal's going to say something next week. So I'm going to lay off Crystal right now because my thing is like, say it to her. But off of the preview, I think Crystal's going to say something to her um, about it. Um... And she says, you know, there's no way of getting around and the ladies are going to find out about it. And that's the thing. And I don't, I don't remember which person said this, but it's, it, they're pretty much like everybody's. I mean, we all know this. Everybody is tiptoeing around the issue except for Sutton and Garcelle. You have a woman up here with lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. After lawsuit. And y'all are focusing on everything else except for that. And then every time somebody brings it up, oh, that's low. Oh, you're hitting below the belt. I'm hitting below the belt because I'm talking about the lawsuit that's out in the world that the world knows about. But I'm hitting below the belt because I bring it up. What? Anyway. Like, nobody's getting on her about it. Nobody's saying anything about it. They're letting her walk around like like nothing has happened. Erica got them goddamn girls except for... um, um, except for Cherie, Kathy, uh, Sutton, and Garcelle scared. The rest of them got them girls scared of her. Fuck Erica. Erica couldn't scare me. Every goddamn chance I get, I bring that shit up. Oh, what about your lawsuits? Every time she's been around her goddamn mouth, your lawsuits? Oh, I thought that's what you mean. You want to talk about your lawsuits? Oh, because if you don't want to talk about that, we ain't got nothing to talk about. My goddamn foot would be on her neck every damn time. She would be so sick of me, she wouldn't say nothing else to me. Um, it's the day of the Aspen trip, and all ladies arrive at the airport. Erica talking about, oh, you know, Aspen is where the wealthy go. It's for the who's who. I used to go here a shit, a shit ton of times, and, you know, I used to fly on my jet when you don't anymore because you're broke. So, you have to fly on somebody else's jet paid by somebody else's paid by Bravo. Um, the house is really nice that uh, what's her name? Kyle has, but the rental, the rental house that Garcella's staying at with the other ladies is sickening. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Sickening. Sickening. Um, the ladies are having dinner. You know, everybody's having a good time. Mauricio's cooking. Um, child Kathy being Kathy asking where the butter at, where the napkins at, where the silverware at. I know that's where Kathy honey. Y'all concerned, honey. Y'all invited me. Where everything at? Um, Lisa brings out the uh, Ouija board. Child Kathy and Garcelle and Siri like, child, ain't playing that. That's too dark for me. 
So they're all playing around, you know, asking silly questions. Here you go to Pastor, because you know, wasn't good enough for her. She got a little she got a little liquor up in her. Here go here go Kyle talking about ask the Ouija boy why did Garcelle unfollow um Erica? Erica's like, why are you doing this? Like we, you asked me on the plane, I'm um I'm, I'm 51 or however old she is. Why are we talking about this? Like who cares? And I agree with her. Like, who cares, Kyle? Shut up. Worry about what Mauricio doing. How about that? Um, and and Garcelle says, "Well, I unfollowed her because she said I was a liar." And um, Erica says, "Because you you lied and said that you care." And Garcelle said, "I actually did." She said, "But you called me a liar." And um, Erica says, "You went around and you told everybody about the thing, and nobody got on your bandwagon." She's, and and Garcelle said, "I told you too." Erica says, "When did you tell me?" She said, "When we were having dinner." Yeah, did you forget Erica? Remember when you were pretending to be drunk? And then she brought it up to you and she you talked about how you need to fix your pill to liquor ratio. Did you forget that? Hmm? Hmm. Can't be very forgettable lately. Um, and Garcelle pretty much says, you know, so I unfollow her. And Kathy says, you know, <laughs> child Kathy being Kathy. And she said, honey, there's three things you can't be around me as a thief, a stealer, and a pedophilic. I said, oh. Those are her three no's. Okay. Well, Erica's two of them. Um, and Garcelle pretty much says, Erica, we don't have to be friends. And honey, Erica felt some kind of way. She's like, we don't. And Garcelle says, great. Erica says, yeah, because you know, we can just let it go. Garcelle says, good. So honey, Erica kept saying like little stuff. Garcelle was like, girl, okay. Erica, you're mad because Garcelle again shut you down. We're not friends. We will never be friends. And yeah, good luck on that. So, um, Kathy pretty much says no. It's not important. Nobody cares. I'm with Kathy, child. I'm just like but I won't be her goddamn friend either. Don't get me caught up. So, um, then Kyle is Kyle still stuck on the whole Instagram thing because I guess on the plane she asked Sutton that and Sutton said, "Oh, it was a joke." So Kyle is pretty much saying, um, you know, she keep bringing it up and and um. Sutton says, well, the reason why I unfollow her is because she called me a cunt. And Kyle says, oh, you're playing victim. I'm like, what? She's not playing victim. She's answering your question. You asked her a question and she's giving you an answer. So how is she playing the victim? And then Kyle gets up and says, you know, people are lying. I don't have time for this. And she just starts to walk away. And they looking at her like, girl, sit down. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sit down. And Sutton says, we're talking about Instagram. Like, we have bigger fish to fry and you're getting upset over Instagram. Um, and then Lisa's like, well, it's it's deeper than that. What, what, what is it then, Lisa? You seem to have all the answers. What's, what is it? And Sutton is like, but nobody's saying anything about her calling me a see you next Tuesday. And then all of a sudden, Lizard Lips, Lint Liquor, the madam says, because you are one. Excuse me? Who the fuck are you talking to? Let me tell y'all something. I would have had Diana ass going home crying. This it's sudden the same way you had her ass crying at that goddamn table is the same way you should have had her ass crying on her way back to her hotel with the Ghostbusters. Diana, you trifling, disgusting ass excuse of a woman. We are sick of you. You and your antics, you need to be fired. We don't want to see you back on the TV. Nobody is a fan of yours. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. You going around allegedly giving people cease and desist. Girl, fuck you. How about that? Fuck you. For you to talk about that, for you to say that about that woman after she has apologized, in my opinion, way too many goddamn times, and you want to say that about her and she wasn't even fucking talking to you. Um, so then Erica and Diana, they're cracking up, they're laughing. Everybody else is looking at them like, what? And Garcelle's like, that's not funny, that's low. Yeah, that's low as shit. And, and Sutton is sitting there like in, in complete like in shock, like, 
what the fuck is going on? Child. So then Diana starts rumbling and rubbing her nose. You know, she might did a little, you know, who knows. But all of a sudden she got real piped up. And um she pretty much is like, you know, you know, um she's talking about sudden and Kyle's like, let's let's not talk about it like she's not in the room. And Garcelle says, Yeah, everybody has the right to have feelings and Sutton. Diana's like, does she have feelings? Does she? Because she came at me and I was bleeding. (sighs) Lady, you decided to get your ass on the plane. You decided to go to Mexico. If you was on your deathbed, you should have stayed on it. You got up, you went out there, you were drinking, you were having a good time. The minute sudden piped up on your ass, you ain't know what to do. I never been taught to you like that. Well, you bitch, you've been taught to you like that today. That woman, it between her and Lisa, I'm good. I'm good. Um and then she's like, you know, I was on my deathbed and I came to Garcelle's party and she ridiculed me and this and that. Girl. You came in. Let's not forget. I think it was the second episode. You came in gunning for gun, gunning for Sutton. Lisa piped something in your fucking ear, and you ran and you ran with it. And you were you remember you at the table chopping up your coke. Remember allegedly, not really allegedly because the camera showed it. Anyway, you were you were there and you were doing X Y and Z, and then you had the nerve to. You you've been you on sudden ever since. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Whatever Kathy did allegedly is not as bad as Diana. Diana, you disgust me. And you damn sure know who to pipe up with because you ain't piping up with no fucking body else. You're trifling. And 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 let me get on Sheree a little bit because I didn't see you posting her on Instagram. Girl, we'll need you either finish selling them fake ass handbags online. Um, Diana then gets up and she's leaving because she's pissed off. And Sutton's like, yes, please leave. Go back to your hotel. And Erica, of course, running behind her because, you know, that's Erica's uh, money wagon. And the show goes off and they show next season where Erica pipes up at Crystal. I'm so sick of these goddamn women piping up and ain't nobody shutting their asses down. Where is Kim Richards? Switch the cast up. You need to put another black woman on that show or hell, you need hell. At this point, bring Brandy Glanville back. And I'm not even a fan of Brandy Glanville, but Brandy would light that ass up. Kim Richards would light that ass up. Bring Kim Zosiak on down there. Bring Dorinda ass on down there. Dorinda would really tear them goddamn girls apart. Get Cynthia Bailey up on there. It'd be a wrap. Like, are you kidding me? At this reunion that's taking that's taking place, I think either this week or next week, I hope that Ka- that that Kathy, Crystal, Garcelle, and Sudden light they asses up. Light them up. Oh, also, and then in the confessional, Dorit is like, you know, Kyle's doing the most. She's starting to pop. Won't you tell Kyle that? Won't you tell her? Tell her. Kyle, tell her you, you girl, sit the fuck down. You're starting to pop. You're starting shit that you shouldn't be starting. Ooh. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. This is, it's a mess. It's a mess and it's sad. And I, I you know, I, I'm here for the drama. I'm here to laugh and this and that, but some shit is just crazy and it makes you really want to go the fuck off and all you need is to put somebody in front of Diana for five fucking minutes and light her ass the fuck up with their words she wouldn't know what to do bitch your money can't save you and why the fuck are you on the show if you so goddamn rich we good matter of fact bitch don't even show up to the reunion how about that and what Sutton should have said is, bitch, if I'm a cunt, honey, you're a motherfucking alleged tra- a, a sex trafficker. Sutton should have lit her motherfucking ass up. Bitch, if I'm a cunt, you a motherfucking cunt, bitch. Your mama. How about that? <laughs> How about that? That's when you use your mama, okay? Anyway, 
I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Um, F Diana, F Lisa, F Erica, bye Kyle, Dorit, girl. Anyway, y'all, y'all have a good night. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all this weekend. Peace.